Hey guys, it's Zach. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And today I'm going to be sharing with you one of the three segments I did on a TV show called Daily Flash TV. And for the first one, it's a Thai coconut chicken with a seared bok choy and a lemon foam. This is actually one of the recipes from my cookbook if you guys want to buy it. First link inside of the description. And I wanted to share this with you because I had such an amazing time filming and cooking this with the host, uh, Jorge. Uh, Suzette, and, and who? William. William! I promise I didn't forget you, William. This was a little while ago. But, um, I just had such a good time filming this, you know, it was a lot of work. And the funny thing is, I ended up driving from Orlando to Miami the same, the day before. I got there at like 3 a.m. and I had to wake up at 5, so I got like 2 hours of sleep. But it still turned out really, really good, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Yes, yeah, so if you guys enjoy it, let me know in the comments. I have two more segments where I cook a ramen dish and a burger platter, which was to die for. So let me know inside the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up, and also hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you later. Welcome back. He was a semi-finalist in the final four of Gordon Ramsay's MasterChef Junior, and he also appeared on MasterChef Celebrity Showdown. Please welcome to the show celebrity cook and television personality, Zach Cara. Thanks for being here, Zach. My pleasure. So Thank what you are you cooking for us today? So today I'm going to be cooking one of the dishes from my cookbook that I just released. Yeah. It's a really mm. elegant and just amazing dinner party dish that you can do. It's really simple. Have an awesome time. So it's a pan seared chicken breast with a Thai coconut sauce. Yummy. Thai coconut. Yes. Yes. Sounds with, delicious. Yeah, so it's with a seared bok choy with a lemon foam. Okay, let's yeah. get started. Let's get started. Yeah. Yeah. Let's All right. Let's talk us through this. Yeah. So first so things. Cooking in the kitchen. Yeah. So first things first. <laughs> um, we're just gonna be seasoning up our chicken. Now okay. I'm just putting on a glove. Usually I don't cook with a glove, but mm -hmm. gloves are good. Be, yeah, gloves are good. It's good to keep it. So for the seasoning, is just really simple. Just some salt, pepper, mm -hmm. and paprika. And now the the reason why we're doing paprika is just gonna create like a really nice little crust around mm. the chicken, and it's just really good. So, okay, so you're a super young chef. How yeah. old yes. are you? I'm 14, turning 14. 15. 14, and you already have a cookbook <gasps> yeah. and, a, and a social media empire. So many accomplishments, <laughs> Thank you. accomplishments already. Thank you. What made you want to get into cooking? Well, I originally started watching I'll go ahead and put this in the pan. Yeah. So I originally started watching, oh, we actually, we already have one done. Right we already okay. have one done. So it's already We're seared. Already the yeah. So, um, but I started cooking. Um, I had no interest in cooking whatsoever. I mean, my sister would put on a cooking show. I would hate it. But <laughs> I, it's it's so funny. And then I started to watch MasterChef, and I just really got inspired by these kids. That's awesome. So that's okay. how I started to do that. So while you're getting, okay, what are you yeah. doing now? So now we're going to be basting our chicken, which is um, a term that means basically. You're just taking butter and some sort of herb, and you're just basting it all over the chicken. So this is spoon. already after you sear yeah, it. Yeah, this is seared, and then it's still it's still raw inside, and then you okay. just kind of cook it on, um, and then you just cook it and let the butter melt, and we would stick it inside the oven. Basically. Yum. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's uh, you just get the outsides cooked. Yeah, pretty much. And then you, you just melt the butter, with, and you get that all in there. And you get it all there, and it just adds a really delicious flavor, and uh -huh. it just really it's a good way to add some flavor in a short amount of time. It's what I like to do for my proteins. You can do this. So steak, lamb, chicken, yeah. pretty much anything your pants And then you put it in the oven and bake it. Put it in the oven 400 for a couple minutes. Okay. okay. Yeah. Great. All right. Great. So cool. We... Pause. So I wanted to stop the video for a second. I mean, how are you guys enjoying it? I mean, the chicken is so easy to make. Um, the dish is amazing if you're doing it for like a dinner party or you just want to have like a little fancy dinner with your friends or family. It's such an easy, delicious meal to make. So, uh, Resume the video and I'll talk to you guys at the yeah, end. That looks okay. good. So next we're going to be doing our Thai coconut sauce. Ooh. This is just such a simple, easy sauce to make. It's literally all you do is dump it in a pot okay. and you get a delicious flavoring. So we just added in one can of coconut milk. Mm -hmm. We have a little bit of green curry paste some soy sauce, like a, a, just like a, a tiny, a thumb, yeah, yeah, just a tiny bit, because green curry paste tends to be really strong. Pungent, yeah. Yeah, and then we also have some sugar, as yeah. well as some basil. So I'm yeah, just gonna chop up basil. the basil. So while you're chopping up that basil, yeah. let me ask you, yeah. so what was it like to work with Gordon Ramsay? Um, was he hard on you? No, he's actually super really? nice. He's, he's, he's so hard nice. He's like, he's so nice. He's a really nice guy. Um, he's, he's, he really just wants to help you. That's what, that's okay. what they're there for. 
they're like our, our mentors, basically. Right, so right. he's a really nice guy. So you guy. learned a lot from him, for sure. I did, yeah. He taught me a lot of stuff. I mean, Graham, Christina, they're all just incredibly nice. Are you still keeping in touch with them? Um, I actually don't, but I mean, like, Gordon follows me on Twitter, so that's good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> all right, so I just added in our basil and some lime juice. Okay. And then all you do is just give that a little stir, mm -hmm. right. cook that on medium heat, medium nice. low heat, medium. and you just don't even touch it. You stir it once in a while, and after 30 minutes, it's done. It's Great. 30, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Like so if I come home from work, heat. it would just medium take me 30 heat. minutes to yeah. make this meal. Medium low heat, just, oh. just let it simmer, let the flavors develop, yeah. and it's done. And it's so what it's really quick. simple. So you would yeah. start that first and then start cooking yeah. the chicken. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and we would do the bok choy last because the bok choy takes two minutes. All I did was sear it, add some soy sauce and water, and steam it basically. Okay. Yeah. So that's right. simple. It smell. I'm already smelling the. Oh yeah. my god, it well, that, so it's good. the sage and the yes. butter. Yes, it's yeah. it's a thyme with the butter. So and you can put this whole thing in the oven, huh? Yeah, you actually could. I like to transfer it to a sheet tray because sometimes the butter tends to brown and starts to burn the chicken. So I like to transfer it to a sheet tray and then put that into the. Oh, oven. okay. Yeah. Okay. Another good tip. So yeah. okay, so. You have an Instagram account or yeah, a Twitter? Yeah, I have uh, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Um, I've, I've been really grow, trying hard to grow my, my yes. social media. Yeah, okay, you know, well, so. let's take a look at the finished product and oh you God, will post something see. like that. Yeah, so I would people, love to have a try of this. And, and people, sure. so they can go on to your Yummy. social media mm -hmm. accounts and they can learn recipes? Or? Um, well, mostly on my YouTube. I posted, see, the thing about my cookbook is that it's six recipes, it's not a lot, but there's six instructional videos. Uh -huh. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you can check out all of them. It's just my name, Zach Cara. And I have a bunch of like funny videos too, some yeah. cooking videos. So the point is, yeah. no one should be intimidated. No one. This is just have fun. This is the, probably right? the hardest. E this is the hardest one in the cookbook, but it's so easy. <laughs> this was the hardest one. This yeah, is phenomenal. This is the hardest Warren, you have, okay. you have to try okay, this. I will, oh I will. my god, so good, Zach. This is so delicious. Thank you, guys. You have to try this if you haven't. Please make sure to go to our website and look for the ingredients. But will you stick around and catch up some things? Yeah, for sure. Just yeah, help us out a little bit. Well, I will. We want to learn some more. Cool. Right. Will let's do, do it. Let's um, all right. And there you guys have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, big thanks to Daily Flash TV for having me there. You know, Jorge, Suzette, and William. I know you guys really liked it because you're pretty much, you know, licking up the plates and you were a little surprised to see a 15 year old kid cooking. But, you know, guys, I highly recommend for you to try this. It's so easy, it's so delicious, and it has fantastic plating. I show you guys how to do that really cool plating design, so I hope you liked it. And also, if you want to see the other two, we got ramen and we have a delicious burger platter that was just to die for. So, let me know inside the comments below. Give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe. Until next time, it's every day, bro. See you later, you guys get the joke.